cutting board recipes. Hi, I'm Riley. Welcome to my kitchen. And this is What's Up Wednesday. What up? Well, what up is uh, cutting board recipes. I got another recipe that was given to me. And uh, on this segment of cutting board recipes, I am going to be do, uh, reading off and posting a recipe that Kim Burris gave me. Now, I don't know if this recipe came from Kim's grandmother, her mother, her aunt, or who, but the lady whose name was on the recipe is Ruth Griffith. And I know she's somehow related to Kim. I'm just not sure how. Kim will let us know. Yeah. But, well, Kim has sent me a lot of recipes, y'all. And she's, I think, I believe she said some of them came from her aunt, some of them came from her grandmother. You know, so they are family recipes. And uh, I was going through some of them that she sent me, and I found this one. And it sounds interesting. I don't know if I'll make it or not, but somebody out there might like it, might like to try it. It is called Kraut Salad. And uh, She likes kraut, so she might wind up making it. I love kraut. And I've never thought of doing a salad with kraut like anything. You know, I eat kraut on hot dogs, and I eat kraut and wieners together when you fry the kraut. And all kraut is, is, you know, fermented cabbage. So I don't know why you couldn't make a salad with it. But it sounds good. But uh, what it says to do with this kraut salad is you take one number two can of kraut, drained and chopped, and you chop, chop the kraut. Y'all, if I could talk. Yeah. Words are hard, like Ginger says. Words are hard. Words are hard. Okay. Uh, dr Drained and chopped some. So it means, you know, once you drain it, you put it out and you chop it up a little bit more than what it's already chopped up. Now, a number two can typically is a 20-ounce can. Piggy, will you give me a, a can of crushed pineapple I think I got up there? Or if I don't have crushed pineapple, pineapple will work. The reason I'm asking for this, I'm going to show you all what a number two can looks like for those of you who have never heard of a number two can. It should be on that shelf up there. I see a tomato can. There's not a uh, pineapple can right over here next to the right side wall with something sitting on it. I see a mandarin slice. Well, it might be behind that. Well, y'all, for, for those of you that don't know, it is a 20 ounce can. Roughly a 20 ounce can. Um, years right, ago. This right here is a 28 ounce. Yeah, that's too big. It would have to be the pineapple size can. I've not seen a kraut or seen kraut in a number two can in a long time. No big can. Don't worry about it then, Piggy. I, I, just, I was just going to show them for reference. But if you can find kraut in a 20 ounce can, that is what it is. Okay. It also calls for three fourths of a cup of sugar. This is the granulated sugar. And in a bowl, medium sized bowl. Um, you want to mix the drained and chopped ca uh, kraut with the three-fourths of a cup of sugar and mix it together and let it stand while you're fixing the other vegetables, okay? So, again, for those of you that do not know what a number two can is, it is uh, a, roughly a 20-ounce can. Used to, you could get the cans and they would have it, number two, written on, on the top of it. Each can had a different size or a number associated with it. Okay, now we've got the kraut and the sugar mixed together and set aside. Now, you need one diced green pepper that is seeded, one diced medium onion, one small two ounce can of pimento, and I think they put them in the jars now instead of the cans, so you need a little two ounce jar of pimento. Uh, one or two cups of celery diced fine and one or two cups of carrots sliced thinly crosswise okay it said one or two so you could that's up to you if you put one cup or two cup of the celery and the carrots now once you get all these ingredients you mix all of this together with the kraut okay Mix it well and chill it for at least 24 hours. 
like I said, sounds like an interesting salad. Might be something I would take to a potluck or a family get-together. I don't know that I would make it up for me and Piggy to eat for the simple fact that Piggy's not really big on celery. He will eat it, but he's not big on it. Um, and this would really make more than what we could eat because we'd be eating on this stuff for days. Now, if I had a dinner or something with a lot of people coming over, I would probably make up something like this to see if anybody would like it. But I thought I would share this recipe because to me it does sound so interesting. And if you love kraut and if you love vegetables, this sounds like a very healthy salad. Because, uh, yeah, you have the three-fourths of a cup of sugar, but that's to offset the, uh, the kraut as far as it being, uh, how do I put it? It's not dealing, it's the, the fermented and uh, sour, the sour of the, of the kraut. So you have the, the sugar that's going to offset the sour of the kraut. And then you have the rest of the vegetables in there. And y'all, if anybody makes this, please let me know. And I will leave the recipe at the end of the video this time. Instead of putting it over the, over the video, I'll write it out and leave it on the end of the screen with the directions. Uh, if anybody has ever tried kraut salad, please leave, me a co leave it in the comments. Tell me if you liked it or not. Uh, again, I think it sounds interesting. And uh, it's something that I would definitely like to try. I just don't want to make up a whole bunch of it and then have to waste it because we can't eat it all. So uh, I'm putting the recipe out there and asking everybody else to make it. If you like it, let me know. So I'm going to say uh, have a great day. Have a great week. Say bye, y'all. And I will put the recipe at the end.